In this quick lesson from the MacU.com, we're going to look at how we can navigate finder windows, menus, and even the dock using only our keyboard. I'm not suggesting that the keyboard become your main input device, but in certain circumstances, it can be more efficient to utilize the keyboard rather than your trackpad or mouse. So let's start in a finder window. From here on the desktop, use the shortcut Command N to open a new Finder window. Currently, this window is using the column view. From here, I can begin using my arrow keys to move to a certain folder or file. Use the right arrow key to move into a highlighted folder. To open a file, use the shortcut Command O. Use the left arrow key to move back through the folder hierarchy. This is going to stop within the Documents folder where I started. To move back further, I need to open its enclosing folder, which I can do with the shortcut Command Up Arrow. That brings me into my iCloud Drive folder, which contains the Documents folder. To move to a different folder or location, I can use a different shortcut. I'll hit Shift-Command-H to jump into my home folder. For more of these shortcuts, take a look up in the Go menu. Again, we can navigate here with the arrow keys. To quick look a file, just press the space bar while it's highlighted. Now let's switch to a different Finder view. I'll use Command-2 to bring up List View. We can still move up and down with the arrow keys here, but the right arrow won't open a folder from here. To do that, I need to use Command O. Now in this open folder, I can move up and down to a folder within it and use the right arrow to open it within the list. Close the folder with the left arrow. Use Command Up arrow again to move back into the enclosing folder. Use Command-1 to switch to Icon View. Here we can use the arrow keys to move any direction within the folder. Then use Command-O to open a folder or a file. Utilize Command-Up arrow to move back into the enclosing folder. To rename a folder or a file while it's highlighted, just hit Return and begin typing the new name. This is going to work in any of our Finder view modes. And of course, to close a window, hit Command W. It's also possible to navigate the menu bar with just our keyboard. To highlight the menu bar on, to highlight the menu bar on most Mac keyboards, you'll need to press the Function or Globe key Control and F2. If you only press Control and F2, the Screen Brightness command takes precedence. With Function Control F2, the Apple menu will be highlighted. Press the down arrow to open the menu and use the right arrow to move to the next menu over or open a secondary menu such as Sort By here. To execute a menu command, just hit Enter or Return while it's highlighted. Finally, we can navigate the dock using our keyboard with the shortcut Function Control F3. With the calendar icon highlighted here, I can just press Return to open the app. If there's a folder in the dock, it can be navigated and I can open a file. Navigating with your keyboard won't be something you do all the time, but it can be a better option in certain instances. For more on using your Finder, take a look at our full macOS Core Concepts tutorial. Thanks for watching.